All right, so we're gonna go over how to plant um, tomatoes inside of containers. Um, if you're planting in the ground, I have a video on that, but if you're doing container gardening, this is where you wanna, you wanna watch. Um, so we're gonna plant today a little micro tomato. This is an orange hat micro. Um, these guys stay at about, um, no more than 12 inches. This one right now is at about five. It's got lots of blossoms coming on it. Um, these guys are super tiny, compact. They're great for like if you have a kitchen window or maybe only a patio table, if you don't have a lot of space or they're a great gift tomato as well. Um, they're bright orange cherry tomatoes. Um, and we're gonna plant this today in a six inch clay pot. Um, now, when you're doing full size tomatoes, you wanna be planting in about a 14 inch to a 16 inch pot if you can. If you have more space, do it. Um, the, the bigger the better in this case, but um, we're gonna gauge how deep to plant this guy. Um, so I usually just set this in here. Okay, it looks like we want the base here to be at the soil level and we want the soil level to be about an inch, half an inch to an inch below the surface of the pot. So you kind of gauge where that is. I need to add about an inch and a half of soil, maybe two in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some soil. People ask me often what kind of soil I use. Um, this particular mix is a, by Black Gold and it's got a really nice mix of um, compost and um, also it's got a really nice perlite blend in it. This perlite, if you wonder what it does, it creates air in the soil. Um, we really want the soil to be nice and fluffy. It should not be hard. Um, and you don't also wanna pack it in there either. We wanna leave space for the roots to grow. Um, so we lightly place that soil in there and then how I pull my tomatoes out I use my finger to kind of stabilize the base and then loosen up the soil inside the pot and then using two fingers slide it on either side of the base and then just turn it over into my hand so here we have the roots they're looking really nice we're gonna plant that here so using that kind of gauge we want the base of the tomato to be right in line with about this loop, which is about an inch below the surface. And then we're gonna just lightly press that in. And then I'm gonna use some soil to finish wrapping that on the side. You don't wanna fill it all the way to the top. We wanna keep it um, below the surface because otherwise when you go to water, all the water's just gonna run out. So keep this in, we lightly, lightly tamp it in. Um, leaving a little bit of loose soil on the top because it is going to water in as you place water on it. There we go. I pull out these bottom leaves a little bit. Um, there we go. Knocking off all that soil. And then we're going to water this in right away after planting it. We're going to give the roots the best chance to establish. Um, keep it out of the sun for the next couple days, not in the dark, but just in a shaded area. That way it has some time to establish so it doesn't stress the plant too much. And then after a couple days, you can bring that back out into the full sun. Tomatoes love full sun. Do not be afraid to put them in the sun. In fact, if you don't give them enough sun, all you're going to grow is leaves and no fruit. Um, so you want to get this guy out. They like heat, um, but they do need consistent watering. So we're gonna, you wanna be sure you're watering your tomatoes in the same general area of the day. So if you water in the evening, always water in the evening. If you water in the morning, always water in the morning. Um, don't let these guys go bone dry, but also they shouldn't be sopping wet either. It's important that the pot has a hole in it. Um, I used a clay pot, but you can use plastic, um, especially if you have a really warm area that is, you're worried about it drying out frequently. I would use a, a plastic pot in that case that helps retain a little bit more of the moisture. Um, in that case, you do also need to guarantee that you have a drainage hole inside of those plastic pots because they're not going to like being in sloppy water either. So um, either clay or plastic will work for these applications. So just be sure you get a large pot and you will have nice and healthy tomatoes. So happy growing.